Hello everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Today I'm going to be doing the Single Loom Baby Zipple Back tutorial. If you were subscribed to my channel a few months ago, I did have another Baby Zipple Back up, but I recently made improvements on it, so I am uploading a new version. For this tutorial, you only need one loom, and if you want to do the colors that I'm doing, you're going to be needing light green, or this is actually the medium green. Um, don't worry about how many I have in here, you do not need this many. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how many you will need, but it's not this much. <laughs> you need that, you also need some aqua, or turquoise, uh, some red for the spikes, some white for the stomach and the lower jaws and the nose horns, some black for the horns on the head and the pupils and the claws, and um, some eye color bands. I'm going to be using yellow for mine because all the dragons, or most of the dragons, have yellow eyes. Okay, this should not be your first looming project. You should have done other tutorials on YouTube and understand basic looming. Um, and if I pause to check something during this video, just, you know, bear with me, okay? Um, okay, so I guess let's get started here. We are going to start with the wings. Okay, they're pretty small. Um, so grab like two of the your turquoise bands. This is how we're doing it. We're taking two turquoise. Then we're going to take a turquoise and a dark green. Then two turquoise again. Turquoise and dark green. <laughs> two turquoise. <clears throat> and turquoise and dark green going diagonally like this okay I feel like this is there we go all right now we're gonna take two green at a time so two green here this is the light green or the lighter medium green so we're doing two at a time of those Mine are stretched out because I'm reusing them. Okay, and I'm going to be making the spike. So I'm taking my black bands. And I'm going to do a double loop single black, followed by another double loop single black, and capping it off. Okay. And now we're going to loom this spike. And we can attach that right here, I believe. Yes, we want to attach it onto this spike here. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to make some ridges. So I'm taking my green and I'm double looping. Double looping again here. Double looping again here. And we're going to cap off these three ends with um, the green. When I cap off, I wrap it around the peg four times. And now I'm going to do my horizontal bands. So I'm taking double looped light green and I'm doing that again all the way up. Okay, now I'm going to loom and I'm going to start down here. Okay, so I did that one, and now I go under these double bands and grab the two medium green color. Okay, I'm actually going to go up and do this one next. So I'm doing this double looped band here, as well as 
this one. Okay, and now I'm going to continue going up. Whoops. We're not grabbing the horizontal bands here, we're just grabbing the two bands at the bottom. Okay, I'm going back down and doing the bottom. Okay, and now I'm going to take two black bands, or it doesn't matter what color you use for this, all I'm going to do is just tie off my two ends here just so it stays together. Okay, then I'm gonna just pull it off the loom. Okay, so there I have one wing, okay? What's that look like? So once you have that, then we want to make a second wing, okay? So once you have done that, you want to rewind the video, and go back and do a second one, okay? So you can do it exactly the same or you can do it symmetrical of the one I just did, and if you do it symmetrical it will bend in the opposite direction, but you do not have to do it that way. So that's totally up to you. Um, hold on, I'm just tying off my other one here. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, so. I've done that, and I have made both of my wings here. Okay. And now we are going to be making the legs. The legs are pretty simple. So, all we're doing is taking two aquas and a dark green putting them on, and we're going to do that six times total. So again, two aquas and a dark green, two aquas and a dark green, two aquas and a dark green, two aquas and a dark green. <laughs> And same thing again. Two aquas and a dark green. Once you've done that, you're going to take a black band and you're just going to cap off the end. Okay. And that's that. And we're glooming that. <laughs> Okay, and we're just continuing up. Okay, so why did that do that to me? Whatever, okay, there we go. All right, so here's one leg you want to make. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to make four, okay? So go back and make three more, and then return to this point in the video. Okay, so we have our legs and our wings. We're going to make some spikes now, so you want to take a red band. You're going to double loop it, and then you're going to double loop a second one, and then you're going to cap it off. Whoops. Okay, then you're going to loom that. And that is going to be one spike. You want to make, let me count here for a moment, four, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About twenty two to twenty five of these. Okay, so do this like 20, 
two-ish times and get a bunch, and then you can store them on a hook or toothpick or something. All right, so you want to make a bunch of red spikes. That's that. All right, let us work on the head now. So we're going to have to start with the lower jaw. So we're going to take two white bands at a time. <sighs> two, three, four. First, we're going to change our loom to the offset. I'm just moving the middle row down a, a little bit. All right, and I'm taking two bands at a time here. One time, I'm going to take two again, and I'm going to go diagonally like this, and also diagonally like this. Okay, I'm going to cap off the end here. Okay, and I'm going to take two white bands at a time and do my horizontal bands. So two are going here, and two are going here, and two are going here. Alright, I'm going to make my tongue now, so grab, if you have red, you can use red, if you have pink, use pink. And all we're doing is just double looping a band. Double looping a second band, and capping that off. Okay, um, we're going to loom it. Oh, not like that. I think I need a less stretched out band. I literally took my babies apart to make this tutorial, so all of my bands are like stretched out, so he's gonna look, <laughs> might look kinda messed up in the end. Alright, so we're looming that, and then we're gonna go in here under the capping band and grab the top two. Okay, then we're going to go back in and grab the next two. Should look like teardrops. They shouldn't be all tangled together if you're doing it correctly. Going up to this point here. And you're going to grab your tongue and you're going to attach it right onto that peg. So loose ends go around that peg. Then you can loom the final two. Alright, then we can go down here to the very bottom two and loom those. And here. And here, same thing here. It's okay if it comes off as long as it's loomed. Okay, and then like I did with the wings, I'm going to take three black bands and I'm going to tie off these ends here. Okay, then I can take this off. Alrighty, so we have a lower jaw here for a zipple back. Oof. Yeah, see, all my bands are stretched out, so it looks like too big, but whatever. Alright, so. Okay, cool. Now we're going to work on the top of the head. So, what we're going to do is we're taking two of the light greens and a red. So two light greens and a red, and we're putting those right here. Then we're going to take one of our red spikes, and we're going to put that on right here. All right, then again, two light greens and a red. Okay, then two light greens and a dark green. And take your... Another spike. Okay. Then again, two light greens and a dark green. <laughs> two light greens and a dark green. <laughs> and 
Okay, and then we're doing two light greens and a red. Okay, and then that same thing again, so two light greens and a red. All right, now we are taking a red and a light green, okay? So red and light green, and then again, red and light green, okay? Then I'm gonna take two light greens, and I'm going to be making the nose spike right now. So take a white, and double loop it. Take another white and double loop it and cap it off with another white. Okay, let's loom that. Alright, I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to take those two light green bands I just said before. And you're going to pull that spike onto those bands and we're going to put the ends of those green bands onto this peg and this peg. <laughs> You can turn it so it faces, so it's upside down, okay? All right, cool. And now, one, two, three, it's got a little head. Okay, and now we are doing the sides of the head, so I'm taking two light green here, and also two light green here. And now we're gonna make our horns, our black horns. So grab your black bands, double loop, one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, and cap off. Oops, that one's going to break. All right, I'm gonna loom that. All right, and that horn is gonna go right onto these, onto this peg, okay? And we wanna make another one, okay? So again, double looped black, double looped black again. Double looped black again. Four, five times. Cap off. Loom. Take off, and that's going to go right on the other one. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're taking two light green bands going here, and two light green bands going here, two light green bands going here, two light green bands going here, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to take a light green onto my hook and wrap it four times, then I'm going to grab two more light greens onto my hook. Pull that wrapped one onto it and put the ends here and here. And then do that again. Wrap it around. Grab two light greens onto your hook. Pull that onto it, onto them. Oops. And that goes around here and here. Alright, and then I am <coughs> capping off. <laughs> This band here. Okay. All right. Now let's work on the eyes. So take your eye color. For me, that's going to be yellow. You're going to wrap one around your hook four times. Then you're going to take a black band, wrap that around your hook four times. Then another yellow, wrap that around your hook four times. And kind of push that down as much as you can. And then you want to grab another yellow, wrap around four times.
another black if I can find a good one. All mine are like stretched out. Ugh. Okay, and then another yellow. Same thing. Alright, now I'm taking two light green onto my hook, pulling all those eye bands onto it. Once I've done that, I'm going to place the two ends around this peg and this peg, and then you're going to spread your eyes apart, and you have four green bands in the middle, two of them are going to go over this peg, and two are going behind. Just like that, okay? And then I'm taking maybe two more light green going here for horizontal bands. And yeah, let's check that. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to loom, but we're going to stop when we reach these three pegs. Okay. Alright, so I'm going under the capping band. I'm grabbing the top two. Is that the right ones? Yes. Make sure they're the right ones. Let's go around there. Go back down, grab the next two. Go back down, grab the bottom two. And I'm going up here. And I'm going up the side here. Up this side. All right, now I'm gonna grab my jaw, my lower jaw with the tongue. I'm gonna face the tongue down. And what we're doing is we're attaching our three loose ends to these three pegs, but we wanna start with the two ends, okay? So don't do the middle one yet, so just do the two ends. So with the tongue facing down, I'm sticking my hook through the white bands. And those, actually let's start on this side, the other side, start on the other side. Through these four white bands are going onto that peg, make sure the tongue is facing down when you're attaching. And then you want to go down and loom all the way down and grab the bottom two green bands and loom them. So I'm looming these two. Hopefully they won't break on you. Alright, then you want to do the ones on the opposite side, so these. Go all the way down and loom the bottom two greens there. All right, now what we have to do is we have to pull the jaw down and we have to loom these here. Do not forget these, otherwise your whole thing will come apart. Once you've done that, then we can attach the final section here. Don't worry about the black bands that we tied, we can take those off later. All right, cool, now that we've done that, we can go down and loom these here. So now I'm gonna loom the three neck bands. So I'm going all the way down to the bottom three and I'm gonna loom those. All right, and then I'm just gonna continue going. Continue going up, did I get them all? I feel like I'm missing one. Yeah, I did. So here you want to go under the spike, obviously, and grab the bottom ones. Okay, here you want to be careful. And there is his head. Of course, mine's really stretched out, unfortunately. Yeah, but whatever. Okay, so if you did it nicely, it should look tighter like this head. Okay, but anyway, so that's that. So what you want to do now is you want to take off your 
three black bands that are attaching the jaw to the top of the head. And if you attached it correctly, it should stay and not fall apart. Okay, cool. So once you've done that, you want to go back and make another head and neck so you have two. Okay, so do that right now. All right, once you have your two heads and your wings and your feet, we're going to be working on the body. Okay. So I'm going to take, let's see, I am taking, a dark green and two light greens. Okay, dark green and two light greens. Doing that again, dark green and two light greens. Okay. Now I'm going to take two light greens, then a dark and a light, then two light, then a dark and a light, then two light, then a dark and a light, then two light, dark and a light, two light, dark and a light. Okay, and now we are going to be taking two light here and also the opposite way. Then you want to take a dark and a light here and here. All right, and then we want to grab one of our legs onto our hook. And we are attaching that right you're touching that so it is let me think hold on don't do anything yet I, I have to check something hold on hold on hold on I'm just don't do don't follow what I'm doing I'm just checking something right now I want to make sure that it will attach right side up if I do it this way right side up. Okay, perfect. All right, so anyway, I was just checking something. Sorry about that. All right, so you have your dark and light green here. All right, so you're attaching your legs so so that the so that it's like bent upward, okay? So, you're putting it on like this so it's bent up, not bent down. It shouldn't be bent this way. It should be bent up. Okay, let's do that with the other side. As well. All right, so now we're taking two light greens, two light greens over here, dark and a light, dark and a light, two lights, two lights, girl, mine are getting stretched out. Okay, dark and a light, dark and a light, two light, two light. So we're just pretty much doing a pattern if you haven't noticed, hopefully you have. Dark and a light. Dark and light here. Two lights. Two lights. Dark and a light. <coughs> Dark and a light over here. And then let's just do 
two lights this way and two lights this way. All right, now we're going to do our horizontals. So, oh, I forgot to attach the front feet. Front feet are going here. So lift up these two and these two. Let's just attach our front feet. So same thing we do with the back feet, hook through the six loops, attaching it so it's bent upward. Same thing on this side. All right, cool. All right, anyway, horizontal bands. So we're taking two at a time, and we're just making like triangles like this. I'm doing light green. Got it all stretched out, so I gotta grab some more non-stretched out ones. Once I've done that, now I'm going to attach my heads. Um, actually, let's cap off the bottom first. So take your green band and just cap off here. Okay, now I'm taking one of my heads. Again, we're sticking our hook through the six loops, <coughs> the base of the neck. And we are attaching the head so it is facing up, right side up, okay? Onto this peg here. but you want to make sure you get all your loose ends around the peg. Okay, so head is facing up, and on the other side, head is facing up. Cool, all right, grab your wings. We're attaching our loose ends to these two pegs, so the top one, so we're sticking, I'm sticking my hook through the four aqua bands. Oops. And those are going around the same peg as the leg. Okay, then I stick my hook through the green bands and those are going over the next peg here. Okay, if, try to make it so the wing's bent down. I mean, not like it really matters as long as, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's do the other side. Same thing. Hook through the aquas. That goes here. And hook through the greens. Looks like one of my green bands are going to break figures. Let me fix that actually. Hold on. You, you um, wait there for a moment. I have to fix this because one of my green bands is going to come out. And break. Actually, I'm not even going to worry about it. Not even gonna worry about it. Whatever. Okay. Now here we go. So. Okay. Going under the capping band. Grabbing the top two. Looming them over here. Grabbing the next two. Looming them over here. Okay. Bottom. Here. Attach spike right here. Spike attach right here. Okay, we're looming again. So let's go down the middle here, and as we go, we're going to attach spikes. So loom once, loom twice, attach a spike. Okay. Loom once, loom twice, attach a spike. Loom once, loom twice, attach a spike. Loom once, loom twice, attach a spike. All 
Alright, now I'm going to loom up the sides, so I'm going to go up this side first. I'm grabbing the bottom two, as usual, looming them. And now here is tricky. I have to go all the way down to the bottom two, which are two of the light green color bands. Okay. Hopefully they won't break. Ugh. All right, then we have to loom the next set. I actually like this new rainbow loom hook. It doesn't snap bands like my other hooks did. If you do, let's go up the other side. Again here, you're going all the way down and grabbing the two greens at the bottom. Tricky, tricky. Here, we're going all the way down and grabbing the bottom. Hopefully the legs won't end up facing backwards after this. I don't think they will, but knowing my luck, they probably will end up facing backwards. <laughs> yeah, that would happen to me, believe it or not. All bad things happen to me. Well, not. I shouldn't say that. All right, now I'm looming this one here. And then we want to go all the way down and loom the bottom three here. Remember, there's three. Let's attach another spike here. And that. I'm going to take it off. Oh, good, the legs aren't facing the wrong way. Yay! Alright, here, you want to be careful here, because this is a thick set of bands, so if you have another hook, just use it to lift up the bands because you don't want to pull hard because you don't want to break the bands because that would be really sad if that happened okay once we've done that I can take off the black bands that are attaching the wings to the body okay I think I already took them off but alright now we're gonna work on the tail okay Um, we are taking, let's do, let me think here. Okay, we are taking, if you have brown, I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but <coughs> I have caramel brown and dark brown, and I'm going to use those for my tail. So pretty much all I'm doing, I'm taking one of each. So light brown and dark brown. You can use whatever colors you want. And I'm just making like a little diamond shape type thing. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take two, two light brown and a dark brown. And same thing again. Two light brown and a dark brown again. Like that. And let's do it one more time. So, two light and a dark. Okay, let's do that on the opposite side as well. So, two light and a dark. Two light and a dark. Too light and a dark. Okay, now I'm gonna take a double loop of light green. On each side. Then I'm gonna take a double loop of red. Then again a double looped light green. And a double looped red again. Okay, now I'm going to take two double loop light, well, one double loop light green going this way. Actually, let me do a better band. 
Alright, so double loop light green going this way. And going this way. And now I'm going to do a... Let's do a dark green. Dark green here. I'm going diagonally now. And light green here. Alright, now we're going to do two lights and a dark. Okay, so two lights and a dark. 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 Two lights and a dark, and two lights and a dark, and lights and a dark again. Okay, now I'm going to take my guy and I'm going to attach him so he's... Oh, I forgot to take off a black band here. I'm going to attach him so he is right side up. Okay, so attach that tail right here so it's right side up. Alright, now I'm going to loom this set here and I'm going to attach a spike here. Loom the next, oops. Loom the next set. And the set after that. And attach another spike. So every two times we loom, we're attaching a spike. <laughs> Don't worry if it comes off like that, it's fine. What if we get a dark green here? Oh no, that's a double looped band. I was confused for a second. Okay, and we want another one here. Let's see how this works. So one goes here, and then we want to go down and grab the double looped band at the top. So the top light green. And then the next one. Alright, I'm going to loom two more. So one here and here, and one here and here. Attach spike here. And one on the other one. Grr. And I'm just going to loom all the way up on each side now. <laughs> Alright, and all I'm going to do is tie off my ends here. So, tying off this, whoops, this end. Alright, once I've done that, I can take this off and hopefully it turned out okay. Awesome. And now with my loose bands at the end, I'm just going to tie them around the tail, like that. Okay, and then it'll kind of bring the tail to like a rounded end. All 
All right, cool. And now we just want to make a stomach for our guy. So let's do that. So. All right, so you're going to need your white bands, and we're doing two at a time here. I'm going diagonally with two at a time. All right, cap off the end here. All right, now I'm gonna take my light green and I'm gonna lay a band on every other peg. So watch me. So one I'm just laying here, one I'm laying here, 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 and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And here. Now I'm taking my white bands and I'm going to do my horizontals now. So, two at a time. Whoops. You want to make sure these green bands stay on. And when we do our horizontals, we can kind of like cover up or protect those green bands. It kind of like holds them in place a little bit. I learned. Whoops. Okay, and that one goes there. Okay, once we've done that, I'm going to boom. So, I'm going to start. Okay, good. Um, yeah, okay, so. Um, what is this? Oh, okay, I'm going under the capping band, grabbing the top two bands. Two and looming those. And the next one. Okay. I'm going up. I'm going to go up this side now. Remember, we only want to loom the bottom two bands. We're pretending that those loose green bands aren't there. Okay, and then I'm going up the bottom.
All right, and then I'm gonna tie it off with a <coughs> with a green. <coughs> tie it off with a green. All right, once I've done that, I'm gonna take it off. Oh shoot! Ah, darn! Messed up, guys. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna put a note in the video so you know to loom that other one. Oh man, I'm so annoyed. Ah! Forgot to loom the one side. Figures. Mm. I hate it when that happens. Gosh. Why must you do this to me? Wow, I can't believe I did that. Mm. It really stinks. But it can be fixed, so just give me a moment. Okay, so, don't you just love it when that happens, not? <sighs> See, we all make mistakes, guys, even pro loomers like myself, we all make mistakes, and yes, it's frustrating, but it happens, <laughs> and we have to uh, fix it and learn it and learn from it. Okay. Anyway, we do not want to miss any, so I'm fixing that. Now I have to put a note in the video. Grr. All right, now. Let's see if that works. Yep. Okay, good. <coughs> now, I'm so stuffy. Okay, take your zipple back and you wanna lay him down upside down. And we're going to lay our stomach on him. Well, first pull all your loose bands outward. Okay. And then you want to lay the stomach on him like this. Okay, you want to like line it up with the body. Alright, and this is how we are attaching stomach. We are going through bands in the body that are underneath the loose bands and just pulling the band through those bands. That's all we're doing. Actually, this one I want to actually. This one at the top, pull through the capping band. It'll make it look nicer. Alright, that's all we're doing. Just pulling the loose bands through. Very simple. Okay. The body bands. So go around and pull them all through. I'm going quickly, but you can take your time. Doesn't matter really which bands you pull them through, as long as they're kind of underneath.
All right. Once you've pulled them all through, we're going to start at this one here. And we're going to put our fingers through it, and then we're going to grab the next one, fingers through, 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 grab the next one, and so on and so forth till we reach the end. Once we've reached the last one, we can wrap that around the leg. We can double wrap it, like so. And there is your baby, baby zipple back. I recommend putting wire up his neck so that you can pose him. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can visit the end of my baby scaldron video and find out how to do that there. <laughs> but that's pretty much it, okay? so. Visit my channel. If you click on my name and then go to discussions, you can vote on several topics. I have baby dragon topics open, um, adult dragon topics open, although I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing all those adult dragons as of now. I'm not sure um, because they're not as popular as the baby dragons or the single loom dragons. All right, so, but you can vote on that. And also I'm thinking of doing the um, avatar animals, so like the Leonopteryx and the Banshee and the Thonator and all those cool things. Um, but don't worry, I'm still doing the dragons and I will be doing the Bewilder Beast. Everybody's asking for that because of the new movie that's out right now, which I have not seen yet and I will be seeing very soon. <laughs> so don't worry, I will be doing a baby Bewilder Beast as well, which will probably require two looms. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed making your baby zipple back, everybody. And, um, have a wonderful day, and go visit my other tutorials, and tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Alright, have a lovely day.